So coming on, want to talk about the differences between robotic industrial process automation and robotic process automation. I've actually had a couple conversations in the last little while where because we're called robotic, we call what we do robotic industrial process automation. There's an assumption with some folks that we're using the same underlying technologies. So wanted to make sure that um, I discuss the differences. So robotic process automation providing loads of values to all industries all over the world. Providing that value by automating human workflows, typically in a business admin setting, a finance setting, so helping folks with tasks such as filling out forms, copy pasting. So using very much a rules-based logic approach. Now robotic industrial automation, we are a nod to this because we are absolutely automating human workflows. However, we are automating human workflows in a control room. In a control room for heavy industry, you're controlling assets that are highly dynamic. These assets such as pumps, compressors, distillation columns, uh, you networks of pipes. People sometimes think that they all operate in, uh, you know, kind of just doing its thing, but it's not. They're actually highly dynamic. So think, you know, putting branches on your garden hose and turning the water on and off. Things are moving and changing all the time. So to be able to actually automate a human workflow for a control room operator, simple rules-based logic will not work. How I wish it would would make our lives so much easier. That is not the case. So for us to be able to solve this problem of automating human workflows for the control room operator, we have to combine multiple technologies. Optimization algorithms, control theory, dynamic physics models, machine learning, sequences. So yes, there is some rules-based logic when required. So where we sit with respect to the heavy industry stack is we're sitting between the existing SCADA DCS and the control room. And the goal is to provide the control room operator with a simplified workflow such that they're extra successful at executing their procedures, checklists, and rules of thumb in this environment, their human workflows. So doing that again, you know, your control room operator is interacting with SCADA DCS, which is interacting with Correxo CM robotic industrial process automation to operate these highly dynamic complex systems as simply as possible. And as I said, to do that, rules-based logic alone will not cut it. So I hope that that clarifies and adds a little more um, light to what's, what's inside, how we're doing it. And you know, it may seem like a whole bunch of things, but that's because it is. The goal here is to solve the problem and provide value for control room operators and thus the companies they work for. So our energy companies, utility companies, heavy industry companies. The goal is not what the technology is. The goal is to provide value and solve problems. That's what we're here to do. Thank you.